Thank you. This morning, the Tampa Warrior Hockey Academy hosting a special event dedicated to our veterans, active duty military, and first responders. And this foundation promises a day of inspiration and unity. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Valtoro joins us live from Amelie Arena. Nick, this program has really made a difference in so many lives. Yeah, Jenny, good morning, and absolutely, especially for military, veterans, and of course, first responders, making sure they can not just skate by any challenge, but put them all on ice. It's really been an invaluable tool for those resources, and I'm going to bring in, at least check in here, Ryan Malone, an ex-player for the Penguins, the Lightning, and of course, the Rangers. Just talk about this academy and just how much it's meant to so many people with what you guys are doing here. Yeah, I think first we just got to really thank uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning organization for partnering us here, opening up the doors here at Amelie Arena to really uh, celebrate uh, our heroes in the Tampa community. Um, and this is kind of started in Pittsburgh uh, with the Pittsburgh Warriors. I was skating with some of those guys and you have a, a new veteran or first responder on the ice trying to you know, trying to learn to skate, and then you have the other guys that have experience buzzing around. So kind of came up with this like hockey school concept to teach them the fundamentals so they can enjoy the game more than off the ice as well. Similar to an NHL training camp, you get the you know, information about nutrition, sleep, everything that can help your body uh, perform at its best. You know, one of the cool things, you also get a lot of those unity team building skills, right? Like that you learn in training camp, a lot of those team mentality where it's everybody working as one to complete a goal. And I really think, you know, because the veterans, the military, police kind of have that mindset already, this is really something that could only reinforce that. Yeah, and I think you hit the nail on the head there. It's really about that community um, and, how, and how strong that is. And as, as you said, these are some of the most selfish people uh, on the planet here. So it's uh, very, uh, very um, grateful and humbling to be able to, to help them in any way possible. And what are some of the skills you teach? Just so people are curious, I, I'm sure you have quite a few. You can't list them all, but some of the things you really want people to take away from this. Um, really, it's we, we try to just push their perspective of thinking about the the food they're eating. I always joke around; you don't see too many Dorito trees out there. Uh, so it's you know trying to really realize, realize what you're putting in your body for for your, your your performance and mental health. So it's about really what you're eating, how you're moving, and really any activity is going to help uh, you know your brain and body you know move and feel better. So really we try to push them. We have uh, Future School Jiu Jitsu here, so they're going to do some uh, Jiu Jitsu on the mats, learn some uh, you know self defense and even some breath work and uh you know we're once again just very fortunate to be here a little jiu-jitsu to grapple with any challenge right that's right absolutely all right this whole event starts at nine o'clock for right now reporting live from tampa nick Volturo, ted tampa bay all right nick thank you so much